to the TED3 webinar series. TED3 stands for Tools for Employment and Environmental Education Development. TED3 is an Erasmus Plus project co-founded by the European Union, which wants to support and boost youth work for a more sustainable and greener future. These webinars aim to raise awareness about crucial issues of our time. Enjoy your watch. Hey, my name is Marilis and I want to tell you a story. There was a little girl living in an old city, but she hasn't seen the beauty of the historical buildings around her and the history they had. For her, every elderly thing was worth nothing. She didn't care about traditions. She didn't know her cultural heritage. One day, when she came to visit her grandmother, something changed in her mind. They sat together with tea and started talking about the past. Her grandmother started to describe what the city had looked like 50 years ago, with all its parks, old buildings and people. Old women regretted that old constructions have not been renovated and are destroyed by vandalism. Whole city ancient architecture is not respected and new houses are placed nonsensibly and not adapted to the weather conditions. She explained that one of the biggest factors for keeping house cool is to have high ceilings so that the heat can rise up and away from the floor. So you don't need air conditioner and electricity to do that. In the past, people had built nothing without reason. Every house had been functional and constructed from the materials around, not like today. Grandma worked as the chemist when she was younger, but she admitted all humans' knowledge about medicines and the hygienic and beauty products comes from the earth bounties. This is how her grandparents cured themselves during the illness and produced their own cosmetics from the plants. Those products had been friendly for the body and the environment too. Grandmother stated that it's time for the plants to come back to our daily medicine and hygiene. Does culture and traditions have some, something connected with the nature? asked little girl then. Of course they have, said grandma. Thanks to the culture and traditions we could achieve such a technological process and this is why we cannot forget about it. Just look at your clothes. Without the cultural progress we wouldn't be able to wear this shirt today. Cotton comes from the field, from the soil. Just us, people, we made something from it. No other species can do that. We discovered the textiles, shapes and design. But it doesn't mean we can cut out ourselves from the nature and have no respect. We must take care about all we have produced. It also comes to the food. We discovered the natural processes to, to conserve our food. Think about pickles or chams you love so much. All those techniques come from our ancestors. Behind every product you eat, there is human work and earth resources. So don't face food, my child, said grandmother. Little girl was so impressed by her grandma's story, so when she came back home, she ran rapidly to the garden, looking for herbs and green trees. She would have never thrown away any food and decided to share with her friends everything she heard from her grandmother. Ashes to ashes, dust to dust. From where you have come, there you will go back. And we all come from Earth. We must take care of her and our green heritage. That is what counts, after all. We hope that all people We'll come to know the solutions so that young people, just like you, are creating for a more sustainable future. Let's start doing something about it. This is your opportunity to be the change agent of the world. See you in the next Tech 3 webinar.